being able to attract angel investors is is a very important part of that early consideration. So I wondered if you were kind of looking at it from an angel's point of view, what would you feel would be especially attractive and important to angels when they were when they were looking at your business? You know, imagine, you know, as a woman entrepreneur, we're approaching you as a business angel. What would you say were the important things for you as an angel? Sure. Um, honestly, t- for me, and maybe I'm a bit biased because I have been an investor in a fund. So I'm a very tough angel because I'm still going to look at the business uh, from a VC perspective. But I would I would say like how it's maybe different uh, from venture capitalists. So I think angels really invest in you first as a team. They, they invest in you as a person very much, your experience, your, um, you know, your grit, your capability to build a, a strong team around you and, and uh, your understanding of the market, right? So it's, it's very much about the, the team and, and the opportunity on the market. And I think a lot of angels would also like to kind of um, uh, invest in businesses where they have more expertise. Um, they can share their insights, they can give you connections um, and, and something that they can relate with. Um, but, um, but I think like venture capital investing is, is already very different because there's, there's you know, it's a different ball game, right? The, the money comes from VCs raised from LPs. They have responsibilities in front of their own investors. So um, there, there's different risk levels also um, when, you, when you invest as a VC and, and the market opportunity that you're looking at is, 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 is so important as a VC, whilst as an angel, you could potentially invest in a in a in an opportunity that isn't necessarily necessarily a hundred million uh, minimum opportunity when you look at the market size, right? You, you you could look you could look at much smaller market opportunity, but you can see the value and the difference that the business will make. And for example, I think a lot of um, impact businesses um, or or um, very mission driven businesses. Um, have much more luck raising angel money first. And then once they kind of start showing the traction, they can go and start raising venture capital money. And to be fair, this is what I would always recommend to founders as well, uh, because it's it's much easier to, to validate your business as well with angels first and, you know, start testing out your pitching, your pra- pitching practice, getting more feedback, becoming better at it before you actually go and start raising VC money because the the different considerations when you go out um, to venture capitalists. So I think when you think about the differences, it's really potentially the market size. Team is something everybody will look at, but also VCs would want to see some sort of validation of the market. So you need to at least show that you've spoken to 500 customers or, you know, you have a subscription list of, um, you know, maybe 3000 customers or, or you have actually first um I don't know, five to 10 uh, paid customers. So they would want to see some sort of validation, whilst as angels don't necessarily always need that validation. No, thank you. That's really helpful.